Hi guys, a uh, few days uh, behind and let's see what we've got right now. So uh, the resin, uh, thickened resin is uh, cured in the voids and it's actually deep down a little bit so I'm gonna sand it out roughly just to smooth the edges and then uh, I do a uh, fairing of this uh, surface all the way around because it's, it's a little bit down but yeah and uh, we'll figure out what to do next Well, uh, sometime with the orbital sender uh, brings these uh, surfaces to almost ideal uh, condition. Not ideal, but at least first stage, I would say. It's just one layer, so it's fine. Also, uh, the edges, as you can see, there is a, a little low spot somewhere here and there. So I'm gonna attach more, apply more. Uh, I would say maybe one more layer, layer of. Uh, uh, Mm, what do you call it, uh, fairing compound and let it dry and uh, do the another cycle of sanding but for now I think I will uh, switch over to another task so the boxes are most probably is uh, in its best shape at least uh, kind of <laughs> kind of shape so anyway uh, I'm planning to uh, put them back in place and uh, draw the lines where they met with the sides uh, with the hull and then remove this uh, piece of plywood and uh, prepare the surface for the uh, installing uh, uh, form the core to the walls just to uh, isolate it from uh, Thermal isolation to meet the build thermal isolation, which is I uh, decided to do. So I'm planning to uh, make uh, templates from uh, paper and uh, get ready for installation those.
<laughs> the cabinets uh, in place. So there's a door. Yeah, I tried to to keep it in in in, in a hole, but it's not yet uh, matched. Uh, a little bit need to sand all around. So anyway, <laughs> uh, try to follow me when I try to hold it in place. So anyway, this is starboard side, and yeah, there's uh, plenty of uh, space inside actually. Very spacious. So. Yeah, I, I like it so far, and um, uh, I'm, I I got uh, those uh, piano hinges already, one long piece, uh, 72 inches, so I'll cut it into half, and then I'm planning to hang it this way, like this, and it will be closing up, and on top I'm planning to put the magnetic uh, push-pull uh, lock actually, it's just magnetic double thing, um, double, double the magnetic uh, push-pull uh, device I will just attach it on the top somewhere and then that's it simple right okay uh, back to work well I removed all these uh, small pieces of the wood I glue in a hot glue and uh, I'm going to draw the line which is uh, roughly this much uh, not the best <laughs> Maybe a little bit different shape, but anyway, the same idea. So I want to uh, offset uh, the top uh, edge of the foam. I'm gonna put it on because I have a true deck uh, uh, holes here for the uh, toe rail still. So that's my idea to just offset, and then uh, again I, I'm planning to do maybe something like 45 degrees uh, cover all together. I drew the line on top and it goes all the way roughly two inches from top right now and uh, now I have a dilemma here actually so as I mentioned before I'm planning to uh, remove uh, existing uh, water tank which sits right here and replace it with the uh, built-in uh, tank and actually I want to extend to another uh, compartment which is not really used anyway so uh, the problem is uh, how lower I should go with the form so let's say this this is a tab in from from the deck or whatever the the bed surface to to the hull and ideally if I go to replace this uh, plywood then I need to tap it to the hull, hull anyway so the thing is, um, I'm not sure. Or maybe I just uh, not really do this way. Maybe I probably just reuse this plywood and then just cut the piece all around whatever I needed to. And uh, I don't know. But still end up. But I think I will go all the way down. It's no big deal. Uh, so we'll, uh, I will go all the way to to the bottom right here, and I gotta send it down like let's say maybe two inches, one inch just to put the form uh, all together and make a smooth surface yeah I think it's it worth to do it right now and yeah whatever I'll do this way The plate is uh, good to go. Well, I a little bit uh, make it shorter on the both side, but also made a little bit higher on the top side, which uh, I don't know <laughs> is it good or not. Maybe I can extend a little bit on the bottom, a little, just just a hair, maybe half an inch, and well, I don't know. Anyway, uh, we'll prepare the other one and uh, get ready for the cutting this uh, foam. I didn't buy it yet, but 
hopefully maybe I can drive by tomorrow and put it on. I got this, uh, uh, I don't know, <laughs> I want to try this degreaser, uh, wax remover, and I want to uh, wash uh, the walls right now. And the uh, idea is that just using two racks method, so one is wet and you just uh, wet at the surface, let it uh, sit for a while, a couple of seconds, and wipe with uh, another dry rug or napkin, whatever. And this will supposed to remove uh, of, uh, every uh, contaminant like wax or whatever whatever left over and I will prepare the stuff for the uh, gluing uh, the core material I just brought it in it inside my car and trying to dry fit and uh, I thought actually there was a little bit longer than, a, than it is but it's not really but that's fine it's just a short piece I can do it later on even better less uh, headache to put it in and the only challenge now is that I have the curve of the hull here right and the problem is how I'm gonna hold this stuff I'm gonna push it like that and there's a multiple spots here actually to to tackle so I'm not sure um, I have to think about it how to lock it up maybe it will be fine maybe we'll just stick with the uh, thick and resin and we'll stay in place maybe not I'm not sure so I have to figure it out and yeah, this is the main challenge. So I'm gonna trim a little bit more because uh, as you can see the top uh, level is not really, is not leveled. And uh, yeah, well, probably I have to cut this uh, the, to the line I draw. So, okay, uh, yeah. Well, uh, a couple of uh, wooden planks and we are back in business. So I made this uh, <laughs> funny structure, but uh, anyway, it looks okay, stays in place, uh, it's actually very very tight here and it's bending pretty well, it's a little bit of a wiggle here but the uh, resin will suck it in, no big deal and also in the middle is almost uh, no nothing, maybe this area but I'm sure this will uh, stay in place with the resin also over here is almost tight everywhere in, in the end is the same same story so yeah, this is my <laughs> uh, handmade uh, uh, push push pull mechanism. Uh, this stuff is uh, just I just lazy to remove it, and this is uh, actually a measurement tool, by the way. So yeah, I think I'm fully ready to slap some uh, resin mixed with cabo seal on the back, and good to go. Yeah, probably I have to cut a little bit more. Now. Uh, stern side it's a little bit high but I like it well I made some calculations here so I got like a length 93 inch and uh, height is 32 inches which becomes 2,976 square inch which translates to square foot I believe it's 20.67 and I've got the from the old uh, experiments 
163 milliliters per square foot of the mixed uh, cabocil and resin and uh, all together it's gonna be six buckets by 561.4 milliliters just roughly so I also calculated for 17 weight uh, it's gonna be like uh, three buckets by 661.44 milliliters well, it's it's kind of rough estimate, but in the last uh, several times I did this, and uh, was pretty much uh, what exactly I was looking for. So yeah, what next? So I'm gonna prepare some bedding here, probably, maybe cover the whole thing with the with the um, film, and probably I will come back tomorrow, and uh, from the morning just start uh, laying this up. And it's gonna be a warm day tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, so only morning time can be done. Well, I, I just need a more working time actually. If it's gonna be 20 degrees Celsius, it will be I, I will be done. You know, it's just halfway. There's no time for that. If it's gonna be 10, 15 degrees, it was just perfect. I mix a uh, low ratio, and I will get plenty of time to put the stuff on, mix it, and you know fix uh, my fancy <laughs> holders so yeah so six uh, cans uh, and uh, cabo seal resin spreader gloves uh, catalyzer I make so all I need to go let's do it I pre-mixed uh, six uh, cans of uh, resin with the Cabo seal. It's not yet the consistency that I want, so I want the resin not spilling off, but uh, holes on the stick. It's kind of between peanut butter and minus maybe. And uh, I will add uh, more uh, Cabo seal, maybe two, three uh, scoops, and uh, then. No, first I will add a catalyzer, make start mixing, and then add more uh, cabo seal. And now it's uh, saying like one uh, uh, thermometer say 15 degrees Celsius, the other one 20. So I would get it like maybe in between. And it's going to be hot today, so I mean probably mix it at uh, one percent ratio. And at 20 degrees I will get two hours, or 15 degrees four hours working time. But uh, they said divide by four, so I would hope they yeah, will have at least half an hour to uh, mix these whole six, six uh, batches and throw it out on the core material. So it's tough, tough time, but let's start it. Another day, uh, so the plate is uh, in place, completely cured, resin. But uh, there are a couple of things. Uh, so first of all, I thought this is this stuff is bending pretty much uh, easily, but uh, I think it's it has its own limited bending curve, which I a little bit overreached. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's cracked in several places, and I also feel uh, some 
soft spot, so there, there's no reason on any here, and I believe also here. Well, it's not really big deal though. Uh, I can just uh, uh, cut a little hole, two holes, maybe fill uh, one hole with the resin, and expecting the other one uh, hole to, to uh, resin get, goes out, starting goes out, and then I just push it back, back, and it will stay, no big deal. So. Anyway, I see two problems here. First of all, the resin wasn't thick enough and it was more liquid than more mayonnaise uh, consistency or whatever, I don't peanut butter. So, one thing. And the other one is, uh, yeah, I need I need a bigger plate uh, for push, pushing this stuff, bigger than this one, because this definitely didn't work pretty well. So, probably I find maybe a different piece of uh, plywood for the next side I just prepared anyway I want to finish uh, port side as well today and uh, fixing these issue, little issues after maybe well uh, the core material is in place and I mix a more thick resin also I use a bigger plate over there for plywood so it's a kind of more smooth uh, pressure <laughs> I hope and I believe uh, it will be sufficient to hold it in place. And uh, yeah, so let's, let's do the other stuff. Well, yesterday I did a not really pleasant job. Uh, I did sanding. So before before that I did uh, uh, fill these voids all around with the mixed resin with copper seal and ferret. So then send it those edges of the opening in the, in the door to match each other, each other and uh, now I'm ready to put the uh, hinges. So for the hinges uh, I use this piano one and I measure the same distance from the edges. So my plans are I'm gonna drill the holes here in here on the end of the hinges, of the diameter of the hinge and then I put a L bracket uh, at the same distance from from here to L bracket and from here to this side and use a rotor for the uh, cutting the straight line and I believe it will be really straight well at least as, as much straight as L shape is well that's my idea feet of the hinge looks straight just need to send about around a little bit and I guess this is it So, uh, this plate is uh, holding on its own, but I don't want to remove that piece of uh, plywood yet. I want to make sure the resin is completely cured, so it might be softy some, in some spots still. Well, uh, it's definitely better than the other one. Well, uh, this is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and leave comments down below. Bye!